Hey guys, welcome back. It's Laura. Um, I was trying to record a video on my phone, but of course, you know, my husband calls right in the middle of the video. So that didn't work. Okay, so here's what I've done so far. I put on a face lotion called the Rosy Skin Tone Reviving Cream by Lancome. And I put on Cover FX Blurring Primer, which I know sounds like a lot so far, right? And then I'm trying out the NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Liquid Foundation. I've never tried this, so I'm going ahead and giving it a try. And now that that's all blurred or whatever you want to call it, we're going to go ahead with concealer. And I have the new, well, not new, but new to me. NYX HD Studio Photogenic Concealer in CW 3.5. Let's see what this does for me. Wow, that is kind of dark. Why did I get it this dark? That's not cool. As you can see, I'm not using a lot of it, but, you know, I'm using some. So, I was trying to watch Glam Life Guru's newest video today on my computer took a yuckiness. <laughs> it decided it didn't work or the internet didn't want to work. But the weather here today is just crazy. I'm using the new Eco Tool sponge. It got that really cool kind of cutting us up onto it and I'm just gonna use it to kind of blend out this concealer. But I haven't gotten to finish her video today been on Twitter quite a bit, which you can get me at BeLearningWLaura, and you can find me there. You can also find me on Instagram, which of course, I'll link all that information down below. I need to go around my nose, because my nose is just a little bit red, so let's just get that kind of going. Kind of just red right through here. Okay back again we just did concealer around the nose and stuff um want to do some kind of on my chin i got a lot of redness and so far it seems to be okay just had to go let my puppy in because it's starting to storm kind of getting crazy so all right chili come here baby i want to show you the camera come on This is my baby. This is my baby right here. If you can see her. She is Pit and Bulldog Mix, I believe. Okay, so we got that done. So we're going to do a little baking. I'm going to use my Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder. Very affordable, very, and I'm going to just go ahead and put some in the lid. I know some people just remove the top, but I don't want to. I don't want to do that because it would literally get everywhere, and I'm not really ready to do that. Got some on my sponge, and we're going to bake with it. So my best friend came in. Wanting to know if I wanted her to wash my blankets. She's been helping out a lot. She's been staying here because of some private stuff. That's not my business to give. Okay. I think I got that baking pretty good. Bake my chin. And we got that going. So, essentially, what we're going to do now is. Honestly, I haven't really thought about that far yet. I'm just trying to go through my normal makeup routine, and I'm not doing that good of a job. Okay. I'm going to take my Milani eyeshadow primer, and I'm going to prime my eyes. It's going to take me forever to edit tonight, but that's okay. And if you'll notice, my nails are gone. And that's just simply because they just kept popping off. But we're starting to get a pretty good storm going here. And, all right. Now, I'm going to use an oldie but a goodie, and I'm going to use my Morphe 35W palette. I haven't used this for a while, in a minute. Whew, I love the colors on this. Just wonderful. 
And what brush do I want to use? I'm going to use the Morphe Fluffy Brush. doesn't say what blush, brush it is. But what look do I want to do today? Let's go with kind of a summery thing. So I'm going to tap into that color right here. And go into my crease. Just kind of do it, use it as a transition color. Alrighty. That's pretty blended. That is really kind of loose, not what I'm used to. And then, I'm going to kind of take this orangey shade right here kind of go a little bit below that and kind of blend that in. Kind of trying to go for summer, summery look. Kind of what I'm feeling. Kind of like that. Kind of like that. And then I am going to grab the from the festival palette this little blending brush, the little tiny one. And I'm going to grab a brown here that has some dead, this one right here. And there goes the thunder. Awesome. And I'm going to go to just kind of blend it in kind of halfway. All right, so for the lid shade, I'm going to use this Cover FX Shimmer Veil and Amethyst. Don't worry, it'll look beautiful. I really love this applicator. I wish it was a little bit flatter, but it's okay. And I know they say that this is more of a topper. But that's okay. It's still going to look absolutely gorgeous. There we go. I'm just taking it in about three quarters of the way. I'm going to get down, add a little bit more. There we go. Now it's kind of dry. No biggie. Still wet. I'm gonna use my mirror to dry this. I need to get a little fan. There we go. That looks a lot better. Now I am gonna go in with this same brush into a darker color. And I'm gonna go ahead and go into it with this kind of a darkish purple right there and just kind of pat right here because I really want depth I really want shine Hush. Got my little chihuahua in here too. Aspen. You wanna come up here? Come here. Come here, Aspen. This is my little pet Sammy Perry. There's a story behind it and I'll let you know later. But Thunder and Lightning scared the poor boy. Go down there with your chili. 
oh yeah, you know, that whole thing of pit bulls are so vicious, yeah. Should really see my pit bull and my chihuahua together. Just get this all blended together. I'm using a bigger, fluffier brush from the festival collection of BH Cosmetics. There we go. Just blending it out. Blend, blend, blend is my theory. A little bit more. Just kind of even it out. Okay. So I noticed some spots. And what I am going to do. Oh, I don't have a shiny that is close enough to that pink so I have to paint pinkish purple just kind of go over it a little again this is like three coats now it's a lot of coats for this I'm not sure about that I'm not really sure how I feel about having to have so many coats. Maybe to take a little bit of shade and kind of do that. There we go. That looks a little bit softer. There we go. So that's enough of this. Put that over there. Now we're going to hurry and do the eyebrows. While this is still baking, I'm going to use my NYX Professional Makeup Micro Brow Pencil. That's spooly. There it is. And I'm just going to kind of do short strokes just to kind of get it blended in. I do, I'm just using basically the pencil because uh, it's tiny. I love how tiny it is. But I'll be honest, the pencil's hard. I don't like how hard the pencil is. There we go. There we go. That's a little bit better. Use the spoolie to kind of brush the hair a little bit. There we go. Now I am going to take a brush, kind of a dome shaped brush, and I'm going to brush the bake off my face. I don't know about this baking theory because it just seems to enhance my wrinkles. Not really sure about this. <sighs> so, let's go on to contouring. And I'm actually just going to use my butter bronzer to contour. To me, that's just going to be easier. And I'm using the Aesthetica P12. And I'm just going to kind of just warm up the hollows on my cheeks here. God, I love the smell of this. I mean, this is really soft. I'll be honest. I'm not sure I like that. But I want to warm up kind of my forehead a little bit. God, this smells so good. And you know what? I'm going to use the Morphe R7 to kind of just blend because honestly that Aesthetica one is just too soft and I'm just going to blend for all it's worth there and then kind of line my jawbone there we go so that's it for that for blush 
another oldie but a goodie. It's the Morphe 9B blush. It has nine different blushes in there. And I'm going to use my Morphe E52 brush. And I'm going to go in with, let's go in with this shade right here. I'm just kind of get the hollows there. I kind of bring it all the way back just because of my face shape. Why is this not showing up? I feel like I'm digging into it and I haven't used it. Whoa. Okay, let's get rid of that excess. Whew. Really dug in there. And just blend, 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 blend. There we go. Honestly, I really love the Morphe 9B, but I had sanitized it recently, and I think that might have screwed it up. I might need to get another one. Please, husband, do not kill me for that. Alright. You know, I honestly forgot all about mascara. So, grab my thing over here. Yes, I have many containers full of makeup. Okay, I'm going to use the Maybelline Total Temptation Waterproof Mascara. Okay, making sure it wasn't underneath. Okay, that's just kind of sort of what's going on there so far. Um, I'm going to use the LA Color Auto Lip Liner in Unnatural to line my lips. I just want it really natural today. And it's been, knock it off. Okay, so we got the lips lined. So that's awesome. That's really awesome. You know what I forgot to do? Highlight. And I'm going to use the Master Chrome by Face Studio Maybelline in Molten Rose Gold. And hopefully... I used this on my friend earlier because she doesn't know how to do highlight. <laughs> and just kind of try and get it blended. Why is this not wanting to... Oh, there it is. Kind of blend it up and around. For some reason, highlight just does not like me and it annoys me. Okay. I'm going to try this Beauty Creations Matte Lip Gloss. Whew. What color is this? Kiss Me. Okay. It's in Kiss Me. There we go. So, this is actually kind of the final look. And I forgot setting spray. Which, <laughs> here it is. I'm going to use the Matte Prep and Prime Fix Plus. Whew. I love